Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to look at the Cosmos EX. Uh, the Cosmos EX, which is a or an Atari STE or ST or Falcon or TT uh, hard drive replacement. And what it is, it's a Raspberry Pi, as you can see, connected to a discrete circuit board, a custom board that's made by Juki, uh, and this provides you with Ethernet, SD card reader and USB and also if you connect it with an optional connector uh, it will allow you to have up to four, three I think, virtual floppy drives so you can actually fit this inside the Atari ST and use it as a floppy disk drive. Um, now I've had this for quite some time uh, I didn't really know how to work it, but I had to read the instructions recently and set it up again so I could use it in my Atari STE. And now I can transfer files with the um, USB card. I can also connect it to the Ethernet and update it and do various other things. So it's fantastic. It is really, really good. I recommend anyone, anyone with an Atari ST uh, to get a drive like this. It's not particularly expensive, it's very good. I'll just read you some specs from the website. Uh, it is, this is from his website. It is an ACSI only, which is for the ST and TT, and there is a SCSI and ACSI. It serves as a hard drive via the SD card, a hard drive via USB media. Uh, you can share folders with a shared drive on a PC. Uh, it can open zip files in TOS. It's a floppy emulator which can load .st and .msa disk images. You can download floppy disk images and load them through the floppy emulator. You can also connect uh, keyboards, mice and joysticks to the USB port. Uh, use them on the ST. Um, it is configurable from the Atari ST using custom software. Software upgradable and comes in a metal case, which it does. Uh, like I say, this is from Juki's website, and his website is joo.kie.sk. And I have nothing but good things to say. It is an excellent piece of kit, it works really well. If you're an ST user, I should say, go buy one now. Good. Hello there boys and girls and welcome back to another video. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Cosmos EX, which I hope you've just seen in the previous video. Um, we're just going to do a little quick run through here of um, what it does. But if you set it up properly, and I'll show you my configuration. Uh, duh. Okay. Okay, this is obviously how my drive is set up. It's quite important you get the configurations correct. If you get it wrong, you have all kinds of issues. So uh, ID0 is set to the SD card. Uh, ID1 is the CE. And uh, that's it. There's no raw drive. This is my own personal setup, by the way. Translated disk. Uh, L. O and P are translated. USB mount, uh, USB media is translated. Uh, zip drive. I haven't tried zip drives yet, so I don't know how that works. Hard disk images. I don't use any images. Shared drive. I haven't set one up. That's for um, if you're swapping files with a, a PC or a Mac drive or something. Floppy config. If you've got the machine actually connected inside the Atari, you can set that as a virtual. Uh, reader like a well an emulator network settings I ain't set that up uh, IK is keyboard I ain't set that up other don't know what other is what's other FTB uh, FTP okay so you can update your clock and things update software if you have update software if you click update software it will try to update all the software on the drive to the latest spec. Um, Juki has updated some of the software in 2017, so there are 2017 versions. I think the initial setup is 2015 or something like that. And that's it. That is the software used to set it up. 
I didn't install initially I installed ICD the hard drive set up um, which would format the drive and get it ready for you I don't bother now I don't install that I just set it up as I did there uh, stick a USB card in there and reboot and away it goes I don't have an SD card plugged into it even though it looks like there is there's one sat in the slot but it's not plugged in EFI drive I don't know what that is that's probably the blank space on the SD card that's in the Pi I would imagine but obviously the only thing I'm really interested in is the USB because I can unplug it plug it into the uh, little PC laptop at the side of me here copy all the files over that I need and it works perfectly well so I don't don't need to do anything uh, C config what does that do oh, I've just done that stupid quit F10 um, sysinfo will tell you will it tell you there's a hard drive connected uh, I'm not sure I'm not sure if it does or it doesn't let's see what else system and memory keyboard and disk current path is M S T okay okay no, so either drives obviously there's no C drive or any of that stuff. You've got M, which is the USB, which is mounted in the ST drive. P, okay. Cool. What else are you going to tell us? Nothing, I suppose. Nothing, okay. That's fine. Um, so this is a USB card that is formatted as whatever it is, FAT32, I imagine. Uh, it's not NTFSC, and I don't think it's FAT16, I'm pretty sure it's FAT32, which the ST talks to, connects with, and works just fine, there's no problem. There are a few compatibility issues, um, Shinobi won't run them, Pirates, Pirates does run, um, but there are, kinds of, there are all kinds of issues with the Atari, you have to patch software to make it run from hard drive, and different TOS versions and different memory configurations so it's a little bit a little bit flaky but uh, yeah it works really well you know it works well because it plays demos absolutely effortlessly um, I'm not aware of any I'm sure some don't work for whatever reason but I can't for the life of me remember what they were uh, brain damage uh, floppy. See, if I was using this as an internal floppy drive, I could click on an MSA. It would load it uh, as a virtual drive. You reboot the, the ST and it will boot straight into the virtual drive. Uh, but it mines external. I haven't got it connected internally. I think you need a separate little cable for that. Don't know. I haven't tried it. Don't really know anything about it. I only tried to comment on stuff that I use and know about. Um, so that's about it really, that is the Cosmos EX. Uh, I bought it, when did I buy it? I don't know, I bought it quite a while back. And um, I bought it quite a while Beautifully, and there's no issue at all. Works absolutely superb. So that's it, there's not a lot else to say about it. If you've got one, um, they're, they're really good. That is a good way of um, getting uh, getting a hard drive onto the, onto the Atari ST. Works fast. It's good. Very good. Okay, I'll do. Thank you very much.